Okay guys, here's an update video on my transmission control module, my Arduino training control module. So, that's the Arduino Mega right now, hooked up to a four setup relay board. I'm going to be only using three of them really, the fourth one isn't going to be used right away. I have my buttons right now, I'll be actually hooked up to a car, to regular buttons. This one right here, I've got it set up for full on my control. Drag racing mode, full manual for like a full manual valve body where the shifter actually does the shifting. And then paddle shift mode. Paddle shift mode still works the same, up and down. The only thing I did different with this was uh, I incorporated a safety where right now I have it set up to where if the engine is above 4500 RPM, it will not allow you to downshift so that way you don't blow the motor up. Anyway. I'm going to go take it into full automatic mode because this is what I've been working on lately. I've got my Arduino Uno that I just literally put together. Let's see if I can get this to focus. There we go. Um, that Arduino Uno I put together with uh, this MS Cam module. Um, what I have it doing is I have it taking these two potentiometers. That's an RPM one or simulated RPM and that's simulated TPS. So when I turn that one, it goes from like 3,000 or 300 to 7,000 RPM, and that goes from zero to 100% throttle. Um, and I have it sending those messages, simulated RPM messages, over CAN bus, just like my Mega Squirt 2 would. It's actually the same message to my uh, Arduino transmission control module, which is just taking that information in and then shifting using RPM and TPS inputs. Um, so what I'm going to do. Is I'm gonna change or I'm gonna move this potentiometer to make it think it's like increasing in RPM, and we're gonna watch it upshift and downshift on its own. So, let's see if I can get this set up. I'm gonna start increasing that potentiometer. Shifted to two, so we'll keep going. Shifted to three, keep going, and there's fourth gear. Now, on the downshift, I'm going to lower the RPM down, shift to the 3, then back down to 2, and you can see this is all I'm doing to get the, the, sh the downshift, and back down to 1. I modified the shift tables that I have in the Arduino Uno right now, just so that way I can... Uh, um, show you on this video the simulation of it working, but it looks like it works just fine. Um, the tape I'll modify the tables back to real world data. Um, for when I put it in the car, but everything seems to be working. I would show you it working with the relay board, but it pulls power from everything. I have to actually get a five volt regulator and power that off a of five volt regulator because it pulls so much power. I might try it real quick just to see if it'll work on this nine volt. Give me a second here. Hey, it will work. Okay, so right now it's in gear one. We're gonna hear the relays click as it upshifts. Two. Three. You can see the screen's changing color because it's pulling juice. And there's four, and the screen's practically dim because it's pulling a lot of power. But fourth gear, third gear, second gear, first gear. So proof of concept, I'm going to put in second gear to help not pull the load off of it. But proof of concept, those relays are going to get wired to the shift solenoid, so that is obviously working as it's supposed to. Um... I've got to, I'm going to build that simulator a little bit up a little farther to simulate the manual shifter and make sure that the full manual valve body part of it works, like, you know, if I'm in fourth gear, it's commanding fourth and so on and so forth. Um, but once that's all done, I'm going to enclose this and i got to get a voltage regulator input for that, for, you know, from the 12 volts from the car into that safely. And the same for the relay board. I gotta take the 12 volts or 14 volts from the car and drop it down to 5 for that. And then throw it in the car and see what she does. But 
As I said, I've got my TPS input and my RPM input into the Arduino transmission controller right now from um, my Megasquirt's CAM bus network messages. Um, it will be adjustable. There's plenty of inputs on that where you could, if you were doing it like on a carburetor setup for some reason or whatever, you could ha rig up a throttle position input and then use like your tack out wire from your ignition into that. I'm going to have get them set up that way also so that way it's kind of more of a standalone also or if people just want them set up for paddle shift and then full manual valve body or whatever the heck they want if they don't want full automatic control it's really I mean, fully customizable for whatever the heck you want to do with it the sky is literally the limit but that is it for now um, I will video more progress as I get more obviously but Total proof of concept for this evening and this weekend's work of work worth of coding and it's all working great. Thanks for watching.